All right, this is uh, my KTM 890 Adventure R. That out of the box stock, these things are pretty incredible. Like probably one of the most, well, definitely the most off-road capable adventure bike ever built. Uh, but there's still, you know, you can always improve even on excellence. And this is some of the stuff that I've done to dial the bike in and make a good thing even better. So probably the biggest change to the bike is the WP Pro component suspension. So up front, you've got a closed cartridge cone valve fork with extra suspension travel over the R and that fork is freaking awesome. Uh, so the, the closed cartridge technology, the cone valve technology, it gives the makes the bike feel really soft and plush and responsive initially. So lots of comfort, makes the potholes, the small bumps, lots of stuff just disappear and you just plow straight through them. But then you get way more ramp up as well. So when you do hit the bigger stuff, when you're pushing harder, you've got a lot of control over the suspension travel. So you kind of end up with the best of both worlds. You get a bike that, you know, really progressive, won't bottom out or anything, but it's still soft and plush. And that initial, you know, comfort is, is still remaining. It's pretty incredible. Uh, in the rear, the, uh, the Pro Components shock, matches the forks perfectly. Uh, the suspension on these things is, is absolutely incredible. Uh, that's probably the, the biggest standout on this bike for me would be the suspension. But the next most noticeable change on the bike is, uh, is the seat. So the Power Parts Rally seat. So it's a lot flatter than stock, as you can see. It's quite a bit taller. So for a shorter guy, it's maybe not the best option, but for taller guys like me, or people with longer legs like me anyway, uh, it gives you a lot more room between the seat and the foot pegs. So your leg angle becomes a lot more comfortable, your knee angle rather, for uh, for longer trips. And just that extra room on the bike just kind of spaces the bike out more, makes it more comfortable. and gives you a lot more maneuverability and agility on the seat. So it's, it's quite a rounded profile that makes it really easy to move around and crank the bike through the turns sitting down. Uh, because I can sit so much further forwards using this rally seat, uh, I can do more corners sitting down, which obviously saves me energy over a long day, over a long ride. So I really, really like the seat. And it ties in really well with the uh, with the Pro Rally foot pegs. So these are wider, longer, and lower than stock. So again, it opens out that distance between the seat and the foot pegs, making it more comfortable. But you get a really good, solid grounding, foot, really solid footprint, so you can influence the bike a lot more through your foot pegs, really lock into it. And it just, yeah, again, a bit of an energy saver over a long, long day. Another big change is the, the heavy duty wheel set. So stronger wheels, uh, more durability for big long trips and you know, hard riding. Uh, and you, the big advantage you get as well is you get narrower, narrower rims. So 2.5 rim, I think it is on the back. Get a much narrower profile, makes the bike feel way more responsive and nimble and agile, just turns much better. And you get a lot more traction. So it, the narrower footprint seems to give more like downwards pressure in the off-road and the bike will grip and track, make traction where with the standard rim, it'll be wider, sort of planing across it more. So it works really, really well. And these things are super durable. So I've only just upgraded my wheels from the original wheel set I got when I first got my 1190. So I got you know six or seven years out of that one set of wheels. They're pretty invincible. Uh, so these uh, metal radiator protection grills are a really good idea. They protect the radiator from stones and rocks and stuff that get thrown up by other bikes and obviously sticks and that sort of thing. Um, they work really, really well. Never had any issues with the radiators with these uh, metal grills here. Uh, extra little piece in here that the, we just call them the crap flaps stops all the crap from going down inside the bash plate stops the mud going in there and you know filling the that space up with mud and weighing the bike down and then in summer it stops the leaves and the sticks going down in there which can be uh, less than ideal so yeah really worthwhile mod these uh, these protection grills um, whilst we're up here we've also got the axle puller so it makes it a lot easier to get the axle out of the bike uh, when you've got to change a flat tire especially in the middle of nowhere um, yeah, don't have to try and knock it out or anything. Just nice, easy pull axle, and I make those myself. So again, I've got those nice, soft, cushy foam rally grips, uh, XRC handlebar mounts, uh, steering stabilizer all in one, my uh, Garmin Montana GPS, just mounted on a, on a homemade bracket. And then we've got these uh, pretty nifty Krieger 
bags that just fit in there really nicely uh, mount onto the uh, onto the screen mount there keep my little cables and chapstick and bits and pieces sort of thing credit cards for when we're out doing the rides yeah good little setup for the front end so speaking of wheels uh, running Midas tires all the time uh, most of the time I'm running the E12 Midas E12 on the rear and the E13 on the front uh, at the moment, I've got the TerraForce Enduro front on there, so we're going for a real sort of off-road Enduro-focused ride uh, coming up. So I've got that, that full-on Enduro tire on there, but the, my general go-to is the E12, E13 combination. E07 Plus, if I'm doing more road Ks, more sort of travel sort of stuff, or something really spiky and aggressive on the front, uh, like this TerraForce EF, if I'm doing the real sort of Enduro-y stuff. I'm running tubes front and rear, so this wheel set is no longer tubeless, but uh, running heavy duty tubes front and rear gives me more puncture resistance. And uh, for me, it's easier to repair if I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. You know, if I get a, a big impact puncture, a big bit of wheel damage or something in the middle of nowhere with a tube, I can fix it and get going. So yeah, the tubeless is really nice uh, to have on the more road set of wheels, but the, the tubes, you know, can't beat tubes, the off-road riding. The Acroprovic muffler. Lighter than stock, sounds better than stock, and very, very importantly, looks way better than stock. Oh, it looks good. So another part I've got made specifically for me is uh, the rear brake pedals. So these lift them up a bit higher and bring the braking point closer to the foot peg. So I like to try and ride on the balls of my feet as much as I can, and I want to try and reduce that shuffle I have to make to get to the back brake. So it brings them back, I think it's about 10 mil this way, and lifts the back brake pedal up more, so it gets it right in that sweet spot, right in that pocket for off-road riding. And those are available from our website. So I've got the, the full tech pack all, all on this bike. So we've got the motor, motor slip regulation, the cruise control. The cruise control is actually really good on a long ride. Just you know, set that speed, keep your eyes up, look down the road keep yourself safe, rally mode, quick shifter plus, all, all that good stuff, all that good technology. You know, the cool thing with this technology now is it actually all really works very, very well. Uh, it only adds to the ride, it doesn't detract from it anymore. So, you know, back in the days, the, the traction control, the ABS, all that sort of stuff was pretty heinous. But in these modern bikes, it, it works so well. It, it generally, generally makes the, uh, the ride a better thing. So yeah, that's that's the mods that I've made to make uh, an already great bike and to, to be honest, probably my favourite bike I've ever ridden. Uh, I don't like to play favourites, but this would definitely be on the list. It's just so much fun to ride. And the cool thing with this is that it'll just about go anywhere. You know, I can ride full on enduro terrain. I can chuck my wife on the back and ride uh, out, you know, in the middle of nowhere and do big touring stuff, put my bags on the back, go for multi-days. There's nothing you can't really do on these bikes. And the, the few little mods and changes I've done have just basically taken a good thing and made it even better. So I absolutely love this bike. Thanks for watching.